Okay, hello everybody. Today I talk about lecture number 1.1 .1, Soil and Foundation Part A, Part 6, Chapter 3, BNBC 2020. My name is MD Faisalok and this is my email ID. If you can contact with me, you can use this email ID. And uh, my graduation in civil engineering and my master's degree was completed in geotechnical engineering since 2019 from Buet. So let's uh, go to the today's lecture topics. So this is the outline of the today's lecture and this outline contains 15 numbers or 15 points. Number one, general terminology, which say define part A. That means I cover it within part A. And number two, site investigation, also included in part B. And geotechnical investigation report. This is the most important topics in geotechnical engineering because in the Bangladesh point of view, many geotechnical studies have been completed day by day, but there have no report, no proper report. So uh, still lacking in geotechnical report in the Bangladesh common problem, but in other worlds, every test, every kind of investigation still have a report. Uh, that's why in BNVC 2020 added, especially geotechnical investigation report format. So today's lecture cover geotechnical investigation reporting format. Classification of soil is another most important topics of geotechnical investigation. And part B, this is the upcoming part of part B, C, D, and E. And I will try very soon to upload it. And materials related to soil and foundation, basically concrete material are used in the soil and foundation program. And types of foundation, we know that, what types of foundation used in usually, such as shallow foundation, wrapped or matte foundation. Sometimes we used strip foundation, trivial pile, that means precast pile and boat pile, cast in situ pile. And another types of pile is drill shaft. All are, all of our are discussed in later on. So uh, details of shallow foundation. This will be discussed in part B. Details of mat or wrapped foundation. Uh, this will also be discussed in part B. And part C covered, uh, part C of the lecture, lecture number 1.3, details of drive and pile foundation precast pile and details of boat pile foundation cast in situ pile and part D covers a vital issue of liquefaction potential for foundation of soil this is the new topics included in our code and it is most important for such type of structure those are stands in uh, silty sand or silty clay and uh, in coastal zone of Bangladesh and most of the place of Bangladesh uh, carries the liquefaction probability, or carries occurrence of liquefaction pro probability. And another topic is subgrade modulus of soil. When we model in foundation, or like a slab or shallow foundation, by using most common favorable finite element software, say subgrade modulus is the important topics and input in subgrade modulus by using uh, such a empirical formula so in this lecture cover uh, that types of empirical formula of evaluation of subgrade modulus of soil and another vital issue is pre-stressed concrete pile normally this pre-stressed concrete pile is not used in bangladesh but in 
other worlds this bridge test concrete pile is used and in the most probably um, the JT project uh, or project near the sea uh, that means water retaining project uh, there there have a high uh, layer uh, high depth of layer is uh, high depth of soil layer is very rough then uh, this place is we, we would suggest bridge test concrete pile is like as post tension and pre tension two types of pile is used the post tension post tension pile is uh, very useful for this type of project and part E of the lecture, lecture number 1.5 in the upcoming lecture of this tutorial of this uh, BNBC 2020. And uh, this lecture covered field test for drive-in files and real shaft and other miscellaneous data, if any, uh, available uh, in this part of this code. And number one, general terminology. This is the reference this reference is actually come from bnbc reference uh 3.3.1 part 6 soils and foundation and some general terms is most important for any types of engineer uh, especially geotechnical engineer and allowable bearing capacity is the most common and vital issue when we design the foundation of uh, shallow foundation like as uh, isolated column footing mat wrap foundation or strip foundation and what's the definition according to our code? We know uh, the definition of allowable bearing capacity and it's very common and uh, different books provided uh, different language to finding allowable bearing capacity, but uh, technical term is same. Uh, however, uh, in our code BNBC 2020 defined this, this format, it is the minimum of the safe bearing capacity and safe settlement pressure so that the foundation structure is safe and uh, stable under both shear failure and settlement criteria. That means within allowable bearing capacity, uh, structure must be safe against shear failure and settlement criteria because shear failure in shallow foundation is the vital issue and settlement. Uh, due to shear failure, excessive settlement is occurred. Allowable load, what is the allowable load according to our BNBC 2020? The maximum load that may be safely applied to a foundation unit considering both the strength and settlement. That means allowable load carries strength and settlement of soil under expected loading and soil condition. Allowable bearing capacity included shear failure and settlement. Allowable load included strength and settlement. So allowable bearing capacity and allowable load carries a common term of settlement. That's why settlement is the vital issue of any types of foundation. And better and record pile. Better pile is another name is the record pile. The pile is installed at an angle to the vertical in order to carry lateral loads along with the vertical loads. So you know if the pile is if the pile is stand uh, stay, uh, stands straight in uh, vertical direction, uh, they cannot lot lateral loading carrying capacity is less. But if the pile uh, bend with the with an angle of vertical, uh, then capacity of uh, lateral load carrying capacity gradually increase and this uh, brain pile is known as or angular pile with the vertical axis is known as better pile or record pile and board pile a pile formed into a performed whole of ground that means uh, for the construction of board pile must be must must be create a hole on the ground and usually reinforced concrete having a diameter is smaller than 600 millimeter is the more, fi more vital point uh, both pile or those pile whose diameter is less than 600 millimeter and must be performed the whole of the ground boulder is the common definitions particles of rocks that will not pass a 12 inch or 300 millimeter square opening uh, what types of opening square opening clay mineral grains less than 0.002 millimeter in size so clay uh, those soil whose mineral grains less than 2 micrometer in size or 0.002 millimeter is very less uh greater than like as boulder cobble 
another uh, terminology of uh, soil mechanics or geotechnical engineering and particles of rocks covial is the particle of rock that will pass 12 inch 300 millimeter square opening and be retained on 3 inch 75 mm seam that means uh, pass 300 mm square opening and retained 3 inch seam is known as covial right as uh, crushed stone normally used in building which are in uh, in casting of building material building elements like as beam column and uh, foundation and uh, sometimes it is uh, sometimes it's use it used at uh, road design and uh, prevent design normally cobel is used as road design not a building um, uh, sorry for that in uh, the mistake cobel is used normally in road construction uh, if it is uh, made by stone ships it normally bangladesh road uh, made by brick ships but in uh, most recent study it uh, will it, it has been uh, made by stone ships and uh, used uh, try to maintain uh, the size design load what's the design load with respect to bnbc 2020 this is the expected unfactored load to a foundation that means design load those load was which are expected unfactored load and differential settlement this is the most vital issue of differential settlement the difference in total settlement between two foundation or two points in the same foundation that means mm, two foundation or two points in the same foundation two points uh, is uh, is seen in uh, combined foundation and mat foundation two points a mat foundation carries a lot of points so any two points uh, difference of settlement is known as differential settlement and uh, it's it's have a limit and this limit is uh, expressed in later on and dispersive soil soils that are structurally unstable that means dispersive soil must be unstable in structurally unstable and disperse in water into basic particles sand seals and clay it is highly irritable and has a high exchangeable sodium percentage esp so down drag and negative skin friction skin friction normally occurred in the face of the pile like as a precast pile cast in c2 board pile and drill shaft but negative skin friction means application of load on the pile and direction of frictional resistance is the same direction that is the negative skin friction and this negative skin friction occurs if the so swelling type soil presents in here or uh, for simple example uh, top layer top layer soft soil bottom layer hard then uh, negative skin friction occurs in top layer uh, soft soil and if it is clay and if it is very soft then negative skin friction existence probability is too much high this transfer of load drag load to deep foundation and drilled pyre or shaft it is the very common design of foundation uh, element materials uh, sorry elements of foundation design when the diameter is larger than 600 millimeter in recent project in bangladesh flyover or metro projects uh, we see the pile diameter greater than 600 millimeter this is like a steel shaft or a drill pyre for this example of with prospect to bangladesh in uh, many countries is it is used to larger than diameter 600 millimeter like as 100000 millimeter 150000 millimeter for example puts khalifa uh, used in pile 300 pile each pile diameter is 150 millimeter this is a this is another types of drill pyre or shaft in drive hill pile the pile foundation pre-manufactured and placed in the ground by driving zacketing screwing and jetting this is known as precast pile is called the drive hill pile uh, what is foundation engineer with respect to bnbc a graduate engineer with at least with at least five years of experience in civil engineering, particularly in foundation design or construction and geotechnical engineering, two are very different. 
you are not the same foundation engineer geotechnical engineer foundation engineers covers only foundation but geotechnical geotechnical engineer covers foundation and other geotechnical issues so every geotechnical engineer is a foundation engineer but every foundation engineer is not geotechnical engineer and geotechnical engineering definition engineer with a master's degree in geotechnical engineering having at least two years of experience in geotechnical design construction or that was master degree and two years experience in geotechnical design construction or graduate in civil engineering or geology having 10 years of experience in geotechnical design and construction that means in master degree is a greater opportunity almost eight years gap uh, almost eight sorry almost almost eight years minus so this is the advantage of master degree gravel particles of rock that will pass 3 inch 75 mm sieve and retained on number 4 4.75 mm sieve this is known as gravel immediate settlement what is the immediate settlement this this is the vertical compression occurs immediately after the application of loading for sand even the consolidation component is immediate but in clay consolidation component is not immediate because in clay three types of settlement exist immediate settlement consolidation settlement and secondary consolidation settlement and total settlement is the summation of three component of settlement in organic soil soils mineral origin having a small amount usually less than five percent of organic matter content is known as inorganic soil need pressure the gross pressure minus the structure pressure the overburdened pressure of the soil at the foundation level that means such pressure is known as the overburden pressure of the soil at the foundation level needs the bearing capacity it's defined as the q uh, subscripts a and s equal to ultimate need uh, need ultimate bearing capacity divided by factor of safety and need ultimate bearing capacity comes from ultimate bearing capacity minus effective stress at foundation level due to overburden soil and over over consolidation ratio is the common terminology in geotechnical engineering and uh, normally uh it's uh, very basic the ratio of pre-consolidation pressure maximum past pressure to the existing effective offer button pressure is the over consolidation ratio and peak or mark soil and organic soil with high organic content usually uh, 75 percent more than 75 percent by weight is known as peat or mark soil pile head the upper is small length of pile also known as pile tip that is pile tip is known as pile head pile shoe uh, pile shoe pile head it is the basic requirement of the structural design in pile so uh, it is the vital issue uh, for preparing the drawing pile show a separate reinforcement or steel from attached to the that means uh, it's cast in c2 uh, using reinforcement or steel from steel casing two ways attached to the bottom in pile to of a pile to facilitate driving and pile to the bottom end of the pile also known as pile tip rock according to bnbc a natural aggregate of one or more minerals that are connected by strong and permanent cohesive force safe bearing capacity safe bearing capacity is the neat allowable bearing capacity plus effective offer button pressure and sand aggregates of rounded sub-rounded angular sub-angular or flat fragments of more or less an altered rock or mineral so this is larger than 75 micrometer and is smaller than 4.75 millimeter in size screw pile screw pile a pre-manufactured pile consisting of steel helical blades and shaft placed into the ground by screw that means screw pile contains steel helical blades shaft resistance the resistance mobilized on sap side of deep foundation Upward resistant is called positive shaft resistant and downward force on the shaft is called negative shaft resistant. Shallow foundation. The depth of foundation is less than two times the least dimension of the foundation. Sealed. Soil passing a number 275 micrometer sieve, either non-plastic or plastic soil a loose or soft deposit of particles of minerals and or organic origin that can be separated by such gentle mechanical means as 
agitation in water. Tilt, rotation of the inter superstructure or at least a well defined part of it. Total settlement. Total settlement, already I express the total settlement, immediate settlement plus consolidation settlement plus secondary consolidation settlement. And ultimate or cross ultimate bearing capacity, the minimum cross pressure at the base of the foundation at which soil fails in shear due to the load on the foundation from the superstructure. Number two, site investigation. This is the section reference number uh, 3.4 and method of exploration. BNBC section 3.4.3. .3. Three methods, drilling and or excavation uh, test pits, including exploratory boring or sampling, groundwater measurement and field test. Field investigation, section 3.4.3, .3, field testing, what types of testing perform? CPT, SPT, dynamic probing, WAST, pressurometer test, um, dilometer test, plate load test, field venture test, and permeability test. And geophysical investigation, seismic profiling, ground penetration radar, resistivity measurement, and downhole logging. And number and location of investigation point. Uh, normally, this is the spacing of boreholes in various conditions and for large areas covering industrial and residential colonies the whole area may be divided into grid patterns with cone penetration and perform 100 meter grid points and at least 67 percent required number of rolling of triad pit shall be located within the area under the building and site investigation depth of exploration normally we follow the thumb rule less than 10 percent of average load or structure or less than 5% of the evictive stress in soil depth. And minimum depth of blowing for spread footing 2B if the uh, length is less than or equal to 2B, 2B, 2BF, BF is the width of foundation, LF is the length of foundation or 4BF or if 4BF then length uh, must be greater than 5BF. And multi-story dot frame structure at least 50% of boring should be extend to a depth equal to 1.5 times the width of the building below the lowest part of the foundation. And normally depth of exploration shall be 1.5 times the estimated width of or the least dimension of the footing below the foundation. Our substructure units will be supported on deep foundation. The depth of boring should be extended minimum of six meter below the anticipated pile of shaft pile foundation. And for pile bearing on rock, bearing of rock must be a minimum of 1.5 meter rock corby should be obtained at is boring location and sounding or penetration test. Subsurface sounding are used for exploring soil strata of an erotic nature. Penetration test consists of driving or pushing a standard sampling tube or a cone. And uh, this is the another term and most vital issue of geotechnical investigation report section 3.4.7. This is the six steps should be followed to prepare geotechnical investigation report. And uh, uh, this is step number one, presentation of all appropriate geotechnical information of the field and laboratory test, including geology, geological facial relevant data. And uh, relevant uh, data included and uh, geotechnical evolution of the information stating at assumption made the interpretation of test result, relevant test result and factual account and factual account the purpose and scope. Geotechnical investigation, including description and topography, names, consultant, contractor, and date between which fields and laboratory investigation are performed. Field recognizance, field recognizance, including evidence of groundwater, behavior of neighboring structure, exposure of quarries and bro areas, areas of instability, difficulties during exhibition, history of the site, geology of the site, survey data, plans, local experience data, information of SISMI, city of the area takes the study, field investigation, such as sampling, field test, ground measurement, and so on, and laboratory test and test standard as per ASTM or any equivalent data, no problem. And classification of soil, uh, this is the um, final topics of today's uh, lecture of part A and section 3.5, table 6.3.1, BNBC 20, 20 particle size range of soil, different types of particle size, particle size range millimeter, rated number of seeds, already discussed in the uh, general topics, general terminology, and engineering classification of soil. Soils are divided into three major groups. Number one, coarse grain, fine grain, organic, and coat, follow STM D2487. For more detail, uh, you can follow table 6.3.2. 
uh, and next group symbol of various soil table. Uh, this symbol is uh, usually uh, known to geotechnical engineer classify the soil in the next uh, crop coarse grain soil, fine grain soil, gravel, sand, silk, and soil of high organic content. Clean gravels, gravels, fine. Clean sand, sand, with fine inorganic, organic. And this is the, the group samples. And this uh, group sample is usually used in here to uh, find out the so what's the uh, what's the uh, types of soil, and uh, you just calculate liquid limit and uh, in simultaneously plasticity index. Just put in the value in this here, uh, say liquid limit fifty and uh, plasticity index uh, twenty. So just you input fifty and twenty, this soil type is sealed. And if the liquid limit sixty, say and uh, plasticity index forty, just input here the soil types is CAs or OAs. You just uh, see CAs. What what is CAs and OAs? CAs means high plastic clay, and OAs mean organic clay of high plasticity. So you can uh, easily define to use this graph and use this table. What types of soil? Mm, uh, you uh, clarify what types of soil here's in this uh, practical sites. So it's very easy to use these curves and uh, material based on uh, four to five micrometers seed. And uh, classification and description of organic soil after Edel 1997, section 3.5 organic content STM D2. 97407A less than 5% little effect on viewer consider organic soil 6 to 20% effect properties but viewer is still like mineral soils organic seals and clays 21 to 74% organic matter governs property traditional soil mechanics may be applicable silt or clayly organic soil catering 75% display behavior distinct from traditional soil mechanics especially at low stress and classification identification and classification of collapsible soil it is the most important section 3.5.6 soil deposit most likely to collapse uh, loose fields altered wind blown stands hill wash of loose consistency decomposed granite or other acid igneous rocks the test of collapsible soil is suggest test and these are the uh, samples to of these equations. These equations are most vital to calculate critical point ratio and collapsible soils. Just check this criteria and if this criteria full fit, that means I subs relative subsidence greater than 0 0.02 are considered to be collapsible. If the soil is fill or wind blow, loose, granite, acidic, igneous, you must be check uh, this is collapsible or not. This just use the simple equations. And then identification and classification of dispersive soil, section 3.5.7, the dispersive nature of soil is major erosion. That means due to erosion, dispersive nature of soils may exist. And dispersive soil can be made on the basis of pinhole test. This is the recommendation of pinhole test, classification of dispersive soil on the basis of pinhole test. And uh, Shearard, ETL, 1976, is a long time ago fails rapidly under 550 millimeter head types of soil dispersive soil class of soil d1 and d2 erode slowly under 52 head uh, immediate soil nd4 nd3 no colloidal erosion under 380 millimeter or uh, 1820 head that means this test run under 50 180 380 and 100,020 millimeter heads and this is the another method of identification to first determine the pH of a 1 is to 3, 1 is to 2.5 soil water suspension. If the pH is above 7.8, the soil may contain enough sodium dispersion of mass. They determine the total extensible base, potassium ion, calcium ion, magnesium ion, and sodium ion, milli equivalent per 100 Z of pure dried soil. Number two, cation extends capacity of soil CEC millimicron equivalent per 100 gram of your drill soil. The extension sodium percentage ESP calculated from the following equation NA bus divided by CEC into 100%. And EMGP is given EMGP equal to MG divided by CEC into 100%. If the ESP above 8% and ESP plus EMGP above 15, this person will take place which soil with esp 7 to 10 are moderately dispersive in combination with the reservoir waters of low dissolved salt soil with esp greater than 15 have serious piping potential and dispersive soil do not actually present any problem with building structure however 
dispersive soil can lead to catastrophic failures of earth embankment dams as well as several distress of road embankment and classification of soil soft inorganic soft in inorganic no standard definition exists of soft clay in terms of conventional soil parameters mineralogy or geological origin it is however commonly understood that soft clays give shear strength compressibility with several time related settlement problem and soft clays have undrained shear distance between 100 kpa and 40 kpa in other words from excluding between the fingers and and squeeze to being easily mold in the fingers and undent shear strength is half of the unconfined compressive strength that means undent shear strength equal to half of unconfined condition compressive strength or half of peak deviator stress deviator stress it's maximum uh, normal stress minus max minimum normal stress uh, is is known as the deviator stress from unconfined or quick test q test and this is the Low envelope, low two, very soft consistency and less than undentured stand, less than 20. Low two to four, soft 20 to 40. Okay, this is the end of part A. If you have any question, you must knock my uh, YouTube channel and write your question. I can uh, easily answer your uh, question. Okay, mm, uh, thank you very much. Bye.